Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A Capsule Selection. Today, we're gonna to dive into a list, one of my favorite lists for this coming fall and any fall season. These are fragrances that wrap your head around and conjure the effect of masculine elegance. Now, for me, this is gonna be a spectacular showcase of that particular essence and DNA. The thing about the profile of masculine elegance, though, I will be pre, pre, very brief in, in, in alluding to what masculine elegance is. Masculine elegance is not about one fragrance style or one event style. Masculine elegance can take you from floral freshness to amber sweetness, all the way down to just woody and spicy fragrances. So in this list, I'm trying to give you six fragrances that will appeal to you in understanding what they can do for you in your masculinity and your elegant styling. So all in all, this is gonna be one of those fragrance portfolios that you can put together as a blend and or just something to know that you have access to to bring about a higher elevation for yourself. And if this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies, gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactory sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, facets, and nuance of scents, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. We're going to dive into this list, this beautiful capsule selection of modernity while still being a bit traditional. This is a fragrance list that I want to bring forth to you guys to showcase one of the most spectacular parts of our fragrance genres. And the community alike has given me such insight into what it is they wear in this. I think this will go off as a great list for you to understand. This is the list of masculine elegance. And at first, I'm going to start out with one of the best combinations that you can have in your fragrance collection when it comes to masculinity, and that is the rose oud combination. And so for me, starting out in the rose oud combination, I could not be in any way, shape, or form to go wrong if I choose Rose DRB by the House of Armani Privé. Very elegant, very soft, very um, profound in the way it's put together with its white musk accord, very sensual white musk accord that I think everyone loves on the skin. This is a fragrance that has the very um, rose water-esque style of rose while being a, a medicinal style of food. So it can be a slight powdery take on the fragrance accords, but very, very uplifting facets of rose, very, very uplifting facets of saffron spice and that musk accord is one sensual part to this particular scent. Very rich fragrance, very light, ethereal, no camphor, no tenacious phenolic parts to it. Slightly green, but nothing really, really terpenic, just slightly phenolic in its greenness. Sensual, sexy, uplifting, and elegant. That's what Rose DRB is, one of the best Rose Ooh combinations that you can find for the leaning of straddling the line. So this is a fragrance that you and your lady can wear in a night of elegance, a night of romance, a night of lust and love, and have a great, great wearing experience for the two of you. Head turner, compliment magnet, white floral, rose, a little bit of iris, lots of white musk that brings that sensuality about, like I stated, along with that saffron leatheriness. Very, very beautiful fragrance for the elegant man. Once again, Rose DRB from the house of Armani Privé. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, what I have here for you, coming along the line, this is a classic ambery fragrance. Very beautiful in its making from the house of Roger Parfums, and this is Creation E Eau de Parfum. Now, the Eau de Parfum is the discontinued concentration, but you still have the Creation E Parfum Cologne, which smells very similar to this, and then you have the upper uh, tier, which is the actual Parfum, smells similar to this. This in here is my go-to ambery fragrance when I want to wear something of a scent of booziness, a scent of ambery booziness that goes off very, very well. This is cognac, this is ginger, this is a, um, a very elegant take on the contrasting fragrance in this genre. Some can go a bit sweeter than they need to, some can go a bit more um, boozy than they need to. This one here, this is a very well blended fragrance that has a lot of vanilla, a lot of orange blossom, bergamot, opopinex, rose, very sensual. Um, grass jasmine is inside this one this one permeates off your skin very very well especially this concentration but what you get from this ultimately is one of the sexiest tobacco fragrances on the market it has a lot of rum a lot of cognac a lot of um, ginger sweet heliotrope is in this one so you get this effect of an elegant stately gentleman that has um if you have a countryside home, this is the style of fragrance that you can wear. If you have an event that you're going to that's slightly upscale, but something you can wear just a um, a wool and or um, Donegal wool style of outfit, something like that. When you're upscale, you know you're upscale, but you're in a community of, of comfort, this is the style of fragrance you can wear to that one. It smells spectacularly masculine and elegant. 
anything you tell. It's just, it's phenomenal scent. Very reminiscent of some of the best smelling tobacco fragrances on the market, but has its own edge with that ginger, black pepper, and um, cognac. Very sexy fragrance. I'm sure you guys know about this one, but this is second on the list. Gretchen E. Rose Park Rose. Gentlemen, ladies, next up, we're going to come across with another Rose Oud combination, but it's just not any other Rose Oud combination. This is Zerzhov's Alexandria 3. And what they did with Alexandria 3 was take everything about the beautiful composition that Alexandria 2 is and add a beautiful, sweet Bulgarian rose to it. And not just a beautiful, sweet Bulgarian rose that is just a rose of any other rose. This is one of the most masculine takes on a phenolic rose that you would ever smell in any combination with oud and ambers. This is an exemplary fragrance that comes off very, very well in the accords of cinnamon, lily of the valley, palisander, rosewood, lavender, musk, a little bit of apple, vanilla, but at the end of the day, this is a rose oud fragrance that has so much more character than many on the market. It's a juxtaposition of what rose drb, when I talked about two fragrances ago, rose drb is the more elegant, the more, um, we're talking about unisex. That one leans the line of unisex. It's it's less masculine than this one is, but it's just as elegant, just as well-wearing. But this one here, when you talk about very, very hard, this is a black suit affair style of fragrance. The others can be worn with any style of suiting from navy to tan to whites, even in the summertime with that one because of the etherealness of that cashmere and that musk. But this one here, this one is for the cool weather, this is for the fall, this is for the evening outs into the night of the winters. And this is one beautiful fragrance that comes off so well. The wellness done around the cinnamon, the ambery take on um, Palisander Rosewood, the agarwood, and this one is from Laos, was that sweet style. And of course, Zero Joss Rose is just a phenomenal essence to add to this one. And they did a phenomenal job by knocking this one out the park. Once again, masculine elegance, A3, House of Zero Next up, gents, you know you can't leave this list without having an Amouage fragrance on it for evening wear, elegant wear in the fall and winter time. And I would be just a fool to not mention how elegant and how beautiful the scent jubilation is for a gala evening out party. This one takes it to the next level. Beautiful Omani incense, beautiful ambergris, oud, sandalwood, spicy clove. Um, honey is in this one that gives a, a beautiful sweetness. Divana is this one that gives it that green honey sweetness as well, because that's what Divana does in a lot of sense, and it does a spectacular job here of adding a green tinge, a slight phenolic tinge to a sweetness of resinous um, olibana. Honey, patchouli, rose, black currant, orchid, a plethora of notes to give a, a caress on the skin that any woman can go for and understand that this is one thing, that you're not an ordinary guy. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. And this is Amouage Jubilation 25. Get your nose on this one if you're looking forward to an evening scent for the fall and winter of 2024. Spectacular. Jubilation 25, Amouage. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the scent of Fougere Platine from the House of Tom Ford and its private blend collection. Now, many fragrances in the private blend collection and the signature collection from Tom Ford can be put into a list like this because he ultimately shoots for a lot of elegant style of fragrances, at least when he's targeting the masculine sky side of his perfumery. Fougere Platine is, is not one that deviates from that character list. Beautiful tobacco, beautiful clary sage, beautiful basil in this one source is herbaceous take on a ambery tobacco scent that has a lot of woodiness opens with an effervescent freshness of bergamot and that basil accord which is minty um slightly herbaceous as i stated and that's the drawing factor of this one very pervasive in its warm period very pervasive in its coziness the velvety smooth creamy texture of the tobacco along with that very high pitched clary sage in this one <clears throat> and the beautiful thing about this one and I'll tell you this, this and Town and Country from Clive Christian can be worn as a combination of the two together. But all in all, the essence in which these two have a bond is the way that they did the high pitched clary sage with the ambergris, the sandalwood, and a little bit of tobacco take on it. Very much so both in the same vein. So if you're one who looks for Town and Country but wants something different or has Town and Country but wants something different but the same vein to be, um, something to deviate from and you do your wearings. Fougere Platine, don't sleep on it. It's one of those styles of fragrances. Very, very beautiful in the way it uses sandalwood, ambergris, clary sage, and tobacco. Not too dissimilar at all. Very sexy as well. Very elegant, very masculine 
That's that wood, that's that clary sage, that's that lavender, that's the bergamot, that's the patchouli in it. Very, very similar, very, very robust, very, very well, uh, powerful and uptake. And then you want to wear this in the cool and cold weather, you will not be denied your sensuality, your elegance, and your distinction. Once again, Fuja Platine by the house of Tom Ford. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, one of the most distinguishable scents inside of Creed's portfolio. This is Spice and Wood. Spice and Wood is from their elevated collection, as if Creed allows themselves to have an elevated collection. But this is one from the exclusive line. This is Spice and Wood, as stated, and this is one of the most distinguishable and beautifully sweet, resinous, spicy styles of fragrances on the market that is ultimately encompassing of wood and spice. And the wood in this one is just as beautiful as cedar wood, it is vetiver, it is white pepper, it is apple, it is orris, it is musk. Beautiful, beautiful combination of the woody accords, which is the two you pick up most profoundly, are the cedar wood and vetiver. But then what this fragrance does, along with that apple that comes stridently through the middle of this particular scent, is the most beautiful use of white and black pepper, clove and nutmeg. Just sensual base of oud. Um, oak moss patchouli just sensual 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 but also one of the best elevations of elegance that you can find this is humphrey bogart in a bottle no doubt about it this is one of the best fragrances that you can put yourself in tune with and in line with when creating that masculinity and this is the end cap to a showcase of ultimate integral distinctive masculinity and elegance once again creeds spice and wood Get your nose on it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my video for you guys today. I hope as always you got something entertaining and educational. Today I strove to present to you six fragrances that are in my collection that I think bring forth some of the most beautiful parts of elegance while still matching its wearability and durability and signage as a masculine wearing fragrance. These are all fragrances that vary across the cumbering essence from sweet ambers to resinous woodies all the way down to some floral components of rose and oud. These are fragrances that when you put them in your collection, they're going to sit, sift their way through. They're going to find their way through into the wearability that you want them to be in. These are not playful. These are not jovial. These are not juvenile. These are very elegant fragrances that uplift any man's apparel. So if you're wearing anything from a soft suede um, jacket, anything from a cashmere jumper or even a hoodie like this one, all the way up to professional polish suiting to the next level of gala affairs you will bring up the masculinity and the elegance in which you wear and the purpose in which you seek these are fragrances that can help you do that that's why they are the accessories this is accessories to my life and these are why i can continue to bring them to your eyesight and your level of comprehension because you guys know that we are ultimately the next level until next time until next video i would like to say peace don't forget to like comment subscribe